Welcome to day 11 of the Prosperity for Posterity devotional. The topic for today's devotion is the temple of the living God. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 through 16. It says, do not team up with those who are unbelievers. How can righteousness be a partner with wickedness? How can light live with darkness? What harmony can there be between Christ and the devil? How can a believer be a partner with an unbeliever? And what union can there be between God's temples and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will live in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they will be my people. One of your identity as Christians, according to the scriptures, is that you are the temple of the living God. You are the dwelling place of God. You're holy. You are the carrier, a carrier of God. You are his ambassador in the world with a glorious mandate. Yes. Therefore, you cannot afford to associate yourself with filth. You cannot partner with just anybody, which means you must be discerning when it comes to choosing a life partner. And when you're teaming up with someone in business and in any venture whatsoever. So to fine tune your discernment, you must be in constant communication with God. Get his approval before you go into any form of alliance. The alliance may carry a lot of promises with it. But you must remember not to walk by sight, but to be discerning. Don't be carried away with mere promises of bliss or profits, but rather know for yourself who God will have you team up with. One major benefit of being discerning when it comes to choosing a partner is that it prevents loss. Loss of time, loss of resources, and most importantly, the loss of your soul. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, O God, for the life that you've given us and for reminding us that we are your holy temple. Mighty God, we pray that you help us to always follow your leading as you lead us in any form of alliance or partnership we might go into. Grant us, O God, the spirit of discernment in our day-to-day -day lives. Thank you, ancient of days, for your faithfulness. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me here today again. It's been an amazing time. Oh, I, I, I pray that has been a blessing to you. If it is, please give this a thumb up and share it with somebody else that it might bless as well. And if you're new here, you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Sub subscribe and I would appreciate that so very much. So I look forward to being here again with you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.